Could you please wait for a bit more? Melly will be here soon. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. What happened? Tio suddenly jumped out of the carriage. Is that? Yeah. I didn't make it in time. I want to at least bury them in their village. Will you help me, Essel? We don't have any coffins, but we have a lot of clothes. Let's take the remains. Very bad. And Hazel talked about a lot of things on the way. They told me that they are adventurers. They told me about a lot of things that happened in the world. About very things that they have experienced around the world. They talked endlessly without giving me any time to react. They did it out of consideration help me distract myself from the cruel reality. It helped me mentally. But the more I listened to their stories, the more I realized that those are the same stories she would want to hear. Every time I thought about that, I couldn't help but shed. <laughs> the carriage went on with occasional cries leaking from it. Everyone in the village was in a fuss. That is because the catch that arrived was different than usual. Inside, there were only me and what was left of Pravda and the others. The adventurers explained what happened. Although I was the only one who survived, I couldn't remember much what what happened. The only thing I remembered about what happened was Was the monster a wolf or a tiger? Despite his sister's death, Gab asked such a question and I found it strange. Ingo and Gilda the village chiefs and his wife were deeply saddened by the death of their daughter, Jin Lin, and deeply regretted. Why <laughs> did that tragic not befall us? Why did it befall our daughter instead? However, they couldn't grieve. Because a child who had lost both of his parents was in front of them. Shortly after, the funeral took place. Wilfried and Ansel decided to stay in the village for a while. Later on, Ingo San told me that at the time they were concerned about me, so they stayed with me out of goodwill. 
they help the villagers by doing chores, hunting and other things. Thanks to their help, the village was able to hold a meeting discussing the future of the village and its policies without any problem. Meanwhile, Ingo-san and Gilda-san decided to abduct me. It hasn't been a week since the incident yet. It felt like it had been a while since the incident happened. That night, I would dream about changing brother, father, and mother. It was a continuation of the dream about them traveling to various worlds together. It was a fun journey. There were tears and love. It was glorious and thrilling. A journey full of excitement. I wished for things to stay like that forever. However, in the middle of the journey came to realization that everything was a dream. Everything will disappear when I wake up. Disappeared one by one. And then Jinnin would also. And. <laughs> it was a really fun adventuring with you. I can't be with you anymore. I will always be with you in your heart. I still want to adventure to a lot of places. What about you, Rent? Jinin. I. <laughs> the day before they departed, I. Ask Wilfred a question. What should I do to become an adventurer? Why do you want to become an adventurer? Is it because the one who saved you is an adventurer? Or is it because you want to get revenge on that monster? There's that too. But... There is something bigger that motivates me. Jenny actually wanted to become an adventurer. That's why I will become an adventurer on her behalf. Jenny is with me inside my heart. Uh, I see. In that case, I won't stop you. I will teach you. A lot of things. Friend, how old are you? Uh, I'm five. You need to be 15 to join the guild. Ten years from now, train well till then. Learn martial arts, magic, and basic physical strength that suits you. Don't forget about your knowledge. You need to at least be able to read and write. Or you will easily be fooled. You need to also be able to do calculations for the same reason. Learn how to survive and live outside of the village. As well as medical herbs, including knowledge about plants and the types of monsters and the properties. If you want to learn from someone in the village, learn martial arts and hunting techniques from Captain 
knowledge about medical helps from Great Magalp and learn how to read, write and do calculations from your foster father. They will most likely stop you from becoming an adventurer because of the tragedy. You need to keep pursuing them, asking them and learning from them. Once you have learned everything I told you, you will have the basics of an adventure. Also, my name is Wilfred Rücker, a mythical great adventurer. I will probably be an adventurer until I die. So, I will be awaiting for you after 10 years. I will get you to a drink when we meet again. Okay. I am Pedler, Eselkov. I am also an adventurer and I do this job for fun. I'm thinking of opening a trading company in 10 years. When that time comes, I will be working as a merchant under the banner of Goff Company. Please greet me whenever you see me. That trading company probably won't happen when you are still doing it for fun. That's quite mean of you, even though you use me like I'm a check of all trades. I'm thankful for them for guiding me in a very specific way. Enthusiastically. Thanks to them, I was able to focus on my training every day without staying off my path. Then, ten years flew by fast. Ah. Mm. I left the village when I became 15 and then another 10 years have passed and that's where I am now. So did you get to meet Wilfred and I said? Actually I haven't got them the chance. Ever since Wilfred went missing. There was no golf company in this country as well. I see. Certainly, mythic great adventures are hard to locate. They would often go to unexplored land where no one goes. There are also many cases where people eye them for their status and wealth. That's why most of them time they only communicate in communities of similar rank and act secretly. So that's why you are aiming to become a mythical great adventurer. Yeah. I might be able to meet Wilfred when I become the same great as him. That's one of my reasons. But I also want to show him my achievements of overcoming many adventures when I reached the top of the adventures rank. That's why I want to give up. I see. Through 20 years have passed since I thought of that. Certainly. If you haven't changed, it will be awkward to see them again. But that's not the case, right? Whenever the form it is, you have evolved. 
This is still the beginning of your journey to meet Wilfred. Yeah, you are right. We are about to arrive. The sacred shrine should be somewhere here. To be continued. Thank you for listening to Chapter 48. I hope you liked it. And thank you for listening. And see you next time. Bye bye.